Hello everyone, this is meteorologist John Keyes with an updated look at that weather leading up and through the eclipse on Monday. Still increased fire concerns across the area for today. The risk is highest across the central mountains. Moisture returns for isolated thunderstorms, but at least the thunderstorm threat now remains confined to the southern borders tomorrow into Monday. There will be some other clouds moving through the area. The question is, will they be moving away quickly enough on Monday for everyone to see the eclipse? There is that greatest risk for fire concern over the Central Mountains for Saturday afternoon and evening that extends all the way from the Wood River Valley northward through Stanley, Chalice, and Salmon. The combination of gusty winds, low humidity, and the dry fuels, that's the grass and the timber, is the greatest in these areas. Elsewhere, the fuels aren't quite as dry as critical, but still, fires could certainly take off in the right conditions if they get the wind gets a hold of them later on the, in the afternoon and evening hours. There are the wind gusts. Most areas running 25 to 35 miles per hour, maybe closer to 40 for the Arco Desert on up into some of the higher ridges and peaks of the Central Mountains, especially once you get east of Chalice and also east of the Stanley Basin for this afternoon and this evening, also up around Gilmore Summit. As we go through tomorrow, Sunday, you see the wind gusts are a little bit lighter, but still strong enough to get some fires going if in the right conditions during the afternoon. Still breezy, but a little lower on Monday across the area. So as you can see, the wind is starting to weaken a little bit as we go through the next 48 hours or so. Now that dry air that's in place still causing some pretty big temperature swings. That's going to allow us this afternoon in many areas to warm up into the 80s to low 90s, 60s and 70s up in the high country. But once again, tomorrow morning, you'll see those pretty chilly temperatures, some of the higher ridges and peaks and also the higher valleys like Stanley, Copper Basin, could be pretty close to freezing, if not below that, for a couple of hours around sunrise to, for the morning hours. Just a little bit cooler as we're seeing a little bit more cloud cover moving in, and that trend continues into Monday across the area. If you're going to actually be here beyond that Tuesday and into Wednesday, temperatures pretty similar throughout the whole entire period. Maybe by Wednesday, we actually may see an increase in showers and thunderstorms across the entire area. Let's head back and look at the most important important part of this forecast, the cloud cover and any showers and thunderstorms that are going to be here tomorrow into Monday, Sunday into Monday. You can see we do have a few showers along the border Sunday afternoon, a few thunderstorms as well, but that's as far north as that uh, monsoon moisture is really going to get. We're dealing with some mid and high level clouds moving in from the north and west. As we go into early Monday morning, you can see that band by around sunrise trying to shift out of the central mountains. I'm guessing this might be one or two hours too fast on that. By the time we get to mid-morning, that is probably going to be where that band exists from around 9 a.m. to noon, generally from around Yellowstone back through the Snake River Plain into the portions of southwestern Idaho. The farther north and west you are, a better chance in the morning of seeing the eclipse without any real obscuration except maybe some smoke that might come in from the north and west. We'll be watching that as the fires outside of our area continue to burn course if we get anything developing in our area they'll certainly add to the smoke potential uh, smoke obscuration uh, during the uh, Monday morning period. By the time we get to Monday afternoon the clouds move on to the east and any showers again staying to our south and to the east of us. Maybe still a few lingering crowns the afternoon but there is some hope that the clouds may be trying to clear right about the time of totality for the eclipse. For the latest weather information, weather.gov slash Pocatello is the place to go, or if you're going to follow us on social media, it's NWS Pocatello on Facebook, Twitter, and also YouTube.